Hello everyone and welcome to another short video on Tana. This time on my Mail to Tana feature. Um, so some people have been asking how it works and how to set it up. So I wanted to record just a short video. Uh, we'll probably be needing a little bit more videos to get into the actual details of it. But this is just how to set it up. Now in order to set it up you need a couple of stuff. So I put everything here uh, already. So you need my template, which you can find in the documentation. You need an OpenAI API key, um, which is also uh, in the documentation on how you can get one. And you need a license and a API key for Mail to Taina, uh, which you can buy uh, using the, the link in the documentation. You can try it for free for seven days. Uh, and after that, I think it's around, uh, around five euros a month, depending on, uh, on where you are. Uh, I'm charging money because um, it takes money in order to run the service and to do the inbound email processing. Uh, so yeah, that's why. Okay, so first up, you need to click the template. So the template link from the documentation, uh, and here you get uh, the stuff. You can see it's an AI template, uh, I think here, yeah, in the bottom, and you can see that it contains external API calls to my URL. It also contains quite a few super tags and fields and commands, uh, but let's get started and add it to home. Okay, so mail to Tana has been added to home. Uh, you can see that here and we'll open that in a new panel to the side and we'll close this a bit and we'll start by uh, expanding mail to Tana. And here you see hooks. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new mail hook. Uh, the easiest one to set up is actually the full emails, uh, which gets the, all of the emails that you forward fully in your inbox. So let's, uh, let's start there. The first thing to do is just press save. And what happens there is that Tana will start asking for all of these little things that, uh, that I have gathered. So let's make the screen a little bit bigger because we're going to have to copy paste a few things. So the first one is the mail hook license key. So this is the one that you will get from me, and it looks like this. Then you press save again, and it will ask for the mailhook API key, which you will also get from me, and press save again. It will ask for a TANA token, and that's the normal TANA token you created. Going to settings, to API tokens, and create. It will create an API key. You can close this one and just paste it in there and press save again, and then the mailhook open API key. You can use the same one that you use for your, um, for your, uh, for your environment. Uh, I'm just pasting in a new one. And then when you filled in everything, you actually see that it's saved. Now there's a little bug in Tana, I don't know exactly why, but uh, when you save it for the first time, it actually puts it in the trash. Uh, if you save it again, uh, oh no, it doesn't work. So you have to do command K, and do bring reference node here so you get it back from the trash. I'm not quite sure why that happens, but yeah, it's only on the first time. Okay, now we don't need this anymore and we're gonna open the inbox on this side because that is where our mails are gonna be. But first let's go in and look at these things. The first thing you'll notice is if you scroll down is uh, if you save it, uh, oh, there we go, you get an email. And this email is the one you're gonna to use to forward emails to. So because it takes a little bit of uh, a while for the email to arrive, I'm gonna forward an email to Tana right now and then I'll go and explain some of these fields. So I have an interesting email here and I will just forward it to Tana using this email address. And then while we're waiting for this uh, to finish, uh, I will go through all of these things. So first up, we have super tags. And these are all of the super tags that the AI can use in order to tag stuff with. Uh, so in this case, we're going to get full email, so an email. And uh, I put in a little thing that suggests action points from the email. And uh, that's the suggestion one. They all come with the template, so you don't need to worry about them. This is the one that works out of the box. There's also a lot of fields that the AI is going to be able to use and those are the fields that belong to the email. Now, you can set this up exactly how you want. Uh, this is just the, the template version, so you can do anything you like in this case. The email we just said, allowed attachments, so it only will attach anything that has this extension or this extension, and all of the other extensions are ignored. 
Now there's two ways. Ah, there we go. The email came in. Let's go in here, expand it. And there you see a hookmark URL. Of course, this is optional. You can change um, the, the prompt uh, uh, to do it as you want. The hookmark URL is when you click it, you actually go to the uh, URL. Unfortunately, there's still a bug in Tana, so I have to do, uh, I have to paste the, um, uh, the URL again in order to make this work. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Something in the input API, um, I cannot send these kinds of things. But if you click there, it actually opens hookmark, and then you get directly to the email. Very nifty. Um, this is its best interpretation of uh, the sender of the email. This is the two. Um, the subject, uh, the action points, it started to derive from the mail. You can see, hey, I'm nice seeing you last week. Here are tickets for Nintendo World as promised. Can you give Dad a call next week? So the suggested uh, item here is to give Dad a call. And now, of course, you can do stuff with this yourself. If you would want it to create normal to-dos, just press to do here and change the prompt to create a normal to do. And of course, the attachment that was with the, uh, the email. Now, one of the things you do need to take into account is if you send all of your email into Tana, it's going to fill your graph quite full. So I wouldn't recommend that. And if you do, do it in a separate workspace. Um, uh, for me, I do a forwarding rule that only forwards emails from people I know, uh, probably coworkers, stuff like that, certain contacts that I want uh, to get in Tana and have them in there. This prevents all of the spam mail getting into Tana also. Uh, I don't want that. Uh, it also adds a date. So it's nicely on the date tag for every email that you get. Uh, and that's, that's about it. This is of course the most basic functionality. Um, here you can look at the prompt itself. If you open it, you can see the entire prompt in its glory uh, and you can edit it. Now, this is a little bit advanced. There's also simpler versions where you can simply um, add a smaller prompt. Uh, I'll show that at the moment. So for instance, when we add a new one, we can have a default mail hook and that just has a prompt. And here you can edit the prompt and the input will actually be replaced by the email you received. Now, especially in the prompt, this, if you save this one and you get an email address, it will simply summarize the email and put the result of the summary in your inbox. Naturally, you can also customize where you want it. So if you want, for instance, to have it in, uh, in this node, so here, you just copy it and you place it there and the emails will arrive into this node. You can place any node there. You cannot place it on the day node itself, uh, only in, an, in a reference node. And there's some other cool features actually, because maybe um, you might not have noticed that here, of course, this one isn't an entity. Uh, so if, for instance, I would tag this as a person, I can now go into my hook and for instance, say, find her in place. And if I put the reference to myself here, oh, not this one, uh, to this one, then next time, if I save the hook, what will happen is it will auto tag Andre Fuken as the oh. person. So everything you put in here will be auto tagged if the same text applies. You can also try and have the AI do it, and then it works even for these kinds of references. So in this case, um, you can put in Andre Fuken also in here. And then in the text here, if it says Andre, it might be able to, to get it. Um, but then of course you are running into the, yeah, does it actually work? Um, if you want to have stuff like this, I want to reference this, for instance, create Nintendo World. And then um, next time you can place it in here and it have be tagged. You can also put search queries in here. Uh, so for instance, instead of just this one, you can put a search query uh, saying all people, uh, all people convert to a search node and then just say person, there we go. And done. This will automatically add all people in there. And when you save it, unfortunately, it does lose the search node. 
Um, but it will add all of the people in there. Oh, it didn't work actually. Oh yeah, there it is. Where is it? Uh, find the right place. Oh, it's gone. That's interesting. Uh, that might be a bug. That supposedly you're supposed to be able to put in a search node. If not, you can always do it the uh, this way uh, and do a hoist all. Let's see this. Make this a uh, convert to a normal. Yeah, convert to a normal tag, and then hoist all children to siblings, and then remove it. And that's how I actually do it. I very rarely update this list because the list of coworkers I have changes almost uh, almost never. Uh, so in this case, you can have all of these auto tagged. Oh, I see. I, I have tagged myself uh, uh, twice. Uh, let's uh, merge those. And I will merge it into the one without the special characters things because then it will uh, connect it more easily. And those are the basics. Uh, again, this is just a quick um, way to set it up. The real uh, playing uh, is with the trying to changing the prompts and getting everything to work. I've gotten the email into it quite stable. Uh, there are some in ca uh, cases where it doesn't work. So for instance, Tana is quite sensitive when the <laughs> extension of the file name is incorrect, uh, and then it will reject uh, the, uh, the, uh, the the API call, uh, and then it won't work. So it's definitely not perfect, but it's getting there. So this is just a quick uh, video to show how this actually works, and hopefully it will help uh, get some people started in using it. Thank you.